has released two new trailers for the upcoming Michael Bay film 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. The movie is based on the attack on an American diplomatic compound in Benghazi, Libya on September 11, 2012. The movie stars John Krasinski, James Badgedale, Pablo Schreiber, and David Costable, and is set for a January 15, 2016 release. Christian Byer saw these new trailers for 13 Hours. I buy the trailers, and if you guys are watching, if, if you've been watching for a little bit, you know I'm not the biggest Michael Bay fan, but Pearl Harbor had an amazing trailer. Um, he, This guy can cut his company, or whoever's cutting trailers from, cuts them well. Um, this is another one. I actually, the thing that scares me about the movie, not the trailer, is that he's done true stories before. So he's like, you've never been told a story like this. I'm like, well, don't tell me the way you told me Pearl Harbor. I don't need a love yeah. triangle. Yeah. You know, I just want to see Pearl Harbor. Um, and then even with Pain and Gain, that I know a lot of people actually liked Pain and Gain, but I felt that the way that he handled the true story with taking elements of a, the tragedy maybe was could have been handled a little better, but certainly his best movie that he's done in a long time. This could be a a really good movie for him. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't let, what he's really bad at is comedy. There doesn't mm -hmm. seem to be any. There's no comedy in this. This seems to more and 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 more serious than say, I love The Rock, but there it was certainly an action movie to it. And again, lended itself to to Nicolas Cage doing comedy. This could be a, a different side of Michael Bay that we see because this movie does look pretty intense. It looks. It looks like a different role for Krasinski. I'm and I love James uh, Baldet. I think uh, he he is. He's a really, really good actor. Is he the guy from the Pacific? He James, uh, he's been in everything, man. But he, first time I ever saw him was in Twenty Four. But he was, he was just. I mean, most recently comic movie was in Iron Man Three. But he was in. I yeah, mean, that's the guy from the Pacific. Yeah, he's been, he's been in tons of stuff, and he's always. I know he was in Departed. It was a movie to yes. me that he was. He, that he's an incredible actor that needs more of ro roles like this. But the thing that scares me again, like we talked about yesterday, it's in January. Mm -hmm. Dumping ground normally, um, but you know, J Campy had brought up the other day maybe that this is a this is a push to put it in January to say, look, we believe in this movie. Maybe we'll get a couple more eyes in it, a little bit more box office, so we're not going up against something like Star Wars. So um, yeah, but the trailers I really enjoyed. I, th I think they're trying to duplicate the success of American Sniper, exactly, like putting in that time frame. Um, but Sniper got a limited release got, in December. Got a limited as well release, too. so it could be Oscar yeah. worthy. But yeah. I think what they're trying to do is like drop it in January, like American yeah. Sniper dropped in worldwide release. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you're right. Yeah, I, I, based on the trailer, just like the Alice in Wonderland one, I'm gonna buy it. And everyone also knows I have issues with Michael Bay, but just if I watch the trailer, don't think about who's directing it. I think they're good trailers, and it looks like a good movie. I am apprehensive about the Michael Bay aspect yeah. of it. I mean, we talked about this a long time ago, back when we were still at the stream when this was announced. You know, Michael Bay is not known for subtlety and nuance. And in this type of movie that's based on true events, we don't want to see a Pearl Harbor. We don't want to see some sort of tacked on uh, story, romance, or emotional fake story to it we just kind of want to see a retelling like yeah. a i'd rather see something like a, a black hawk down mm -hmm. or a zero dark 30. i mean those weren't like a hundred percent accurate but at least they were a little more faithful than Ridley something scott, like scott catherine Bigelow. yeah <laughs> more, more faithful than right. something like a, a pearl harbor where right. it was like titanic with you know using pearl harbor as the, as, as the background so yeah I, I am a bit apprehensive schnapp i'm gonna buy this but you know i'm gonna buy it with uh you know, with the caveat of like, it's a good trailer. There's a lot of pyrotechnics that you see. There's a lot of action scenes that seem very like kind of mechanically shot. So, uh, you know, when you have someone like Paul Greengrass, it grounds the film mm -hmm. a little bit more. And especially when it's a, like it's you're do doing something that it's not even a true story, but you're like trying to stay within the character's emo emotional grounds. You know, the minute you start making stuff too action based yeah. and like, are, are they friendlies? Here they're coming. Mm -hmm. You know, it becomes an action war movie as opposed to a true story. With that, I, I think the trailer, actually, if you didn't have Michael Bay's name on there, I would have been like, I'm looking forward to seeing this film. So, I, And I liked Pain and Gain. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't care about the other films that he did. Like maybe this film, he's really knocking it out of the park. We'll see. I like the trailer. Yeah, no, I'm, wor I'm worried that like, I don't mind if he uses slow motion in the movie. I was going to say, over under 13 slow motion <laughs> yeah. shots. Right. But they have to fit the particular scene. He can't just do them to make make it look cool or panning shots to make it look cool. This is more of a Paul Greengrass yeah. gritty type of thing. So if he does it in that vein, I mean, I mean, he doesn't know. But the thing that what I'm worried about, he doesn't know how to do that. I know. I mean, it's just not his strong. It's it's not his. That's not what he does. Like every movie that he shoots, 
whatever the tone may be, he shoots it the same exact yeah. way with the slow motion. The I'm getting shots, like just, tricked again. Like yeah, I'm thinking well, like, oh, he's, he's not going to change his style. Don't, don't, over, you're going to over thirteen. Over thirteen. Yeah. Don't don't tr don't. I mean, I think that he could do a different movie, but I certainly don't. I'm not looking for him to change his directing style because he just doesn't know how to do that. It's not what he does. He, can, can we address the two trailers? Because I found a little okay. strange. The, the like, green band saying, and the red yeah. band. So yeah. I watched the red band one first. Okay. Because I was like, oh, the, the green band will be totally different. And it was almost the exact same <laughs> pretty, thing. Pretty similar. Only they yeah. just cut out like two like slightly extended action sequences. Some swear words. Be yeah, a, a few swear words. But I was like, they're almost exactly yeah, the same. Totally no the same. Why? In, in so why? Wh what was the? What's the catch? I, I have no idea because I was looking for it too, and I even think that he, they used two of the same curse words in both of the of the trailers. And I thought there would be more violence in right. the red one, red band one, like some sort of something that we haven't, you know, like heads getting blown yeah, off arms, or something. Yeah, yeah some, some really stone cool. guys like uh, I uploaded the same one twice, man. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.